Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we're back in Pro Cycling Manager 2019 with Federico Chivaldori, who just had a rather disappointing level up with just plus two in stamina, which was the only uh, really notable thing. Uh, didn't get any of the um, other stats apart from Hill plus one. Slightly disappointing, and uh, yeah, we. We still have our skill point to spend here. Let's start out with doing that. And I think what we are going into is passion. Now we have... Oh, I got an achievement. All the discovery skills are active. Well, so, so much for that. Um, and what is coming up in today's episode? Well, we are still in classic season. Last episode was very, very successful. Didn't we get like all the wins and one second place or something? Um, today we have the the big uh, the big cobble classics, the big hilly cobble classics. And what is this? Uh, okay, yeah, that's very flat. Uh, and then of course Paris Roubaix. Uh, I'm not sure if we can get all of them done because they tend to tend to take a little bit of time. These hilly cobble classics. Very long races, very situational, and the conditions are changing all the time with all the hills and, and sectors and so on. So much much attention uh, required. But Paris-Roubaix will certainly be something. We do have 18 cobble right now. And of course, we are on our fitness peak, so that should be all good. So from here, um, I'm, I'm just a little worried right now about our, our uh, freshness. Because we're down to 82% after these two classics, and now we're racing that one. Uh, that still classifies as very good freshness, so we only get a small penalty, and I think we should be fine. Um, but let's get into it. Holy shit, okay, expected race day condition is plus three. That is solid. Only time as is reducing it slightly. Preparation and favorite race, yes, I, I agree. Uh, that one is quite easy though in comparison we are not one of the favorites because we are not a sprinter and there are loads of really good sprinters in here and peter sagan is up to shape as well from the looks of it Whew. okay we will try a solo attack then if we have or depending on how hard the race is maybe yeah yeah solo attack just hang in there in a small group towards the end and then place an attack in an opportune moment and there we have it, plus three race day condition bias at 100% um, fitness and very good um, freshness. And this is actually looking pretty good. And we rolled a plus one and you say, Kerob, why can't you do math? Well, uh, what you don't know is that the game crashed and uh, I had to reload it and all of a sudden our race day condition bias was plus two. So we rolled a plus one, which is very nice. Um, all right. There's not much going on in the first, like, 100 kilometers or so, so uh, let's just speed through it. And now we are starting to get into the slightly more hilly portion of this race. Nothing has happened so far. Six SKPs up front, three minutes on the clock. Those are not the most strenuous of climbs. Slightly steep, of course, but we have seen a lot worse. The only thing I'm doing here is to make sure that we are staying uh, very close to the front so that when the peloton is getting stretched across the crest, we are not in one of the behind groups. Whew, now they have upped the tempo. 170 up here. Uh, that's certainly going to uh, strain a few riders more than they like. And still 78 kilometers to go. The next climb, though, is the one where it counts. That is the Kemmelberg. A uh, pretty infamous climb. Let's uh, check it out on the map, what uh, rating it has. We are... That's that's not it. Uh, we are down there. It's a three-star rating. Just 800 meters in length, that sector. But uh, it's very steep. So I'm just going to move in there as one of the first. Let's see. We're almost there. Yeah, Nipper can go hard. And there starts the cobble. Very nice. Enrico is setting the pace at 85. It's easy enough for us to do, but I think that will rip the peloton apart quite nicely. Yeah, yeah. The only one who's following is Christoph. And we split them off nicely. Yeah, it disintegrated behind us. Well, this is a little annoying. Um, my teammates are completely dead so that they can't help me. 
or the ones I have access to, and they can't help me, while the other two that are in my group are not willing to help me. Well, when they are not dead. So why can't they just fall off the group, please? Just go away. And we are getting to the final hills before the finish. This is just a place where you really need to stay up front, and I'm I will be ready to turn on my um, don't get stuck skill anytime. See here, it's still fine. Are they attacking? No, no, they're not. They're just riding hard. And here we go. This is the uh, well, one of the steeper climbs, one of the longer climbs. You don't have to go that fast. Oh, are they attacking? No, just take position up front. Try to follow them. Wow, they're really going hard. Let's go 85 dot and get ready for the next one, which is the steepest one and very, very sharp edge on top. That means the peloton is being sliced into pieces once we get uh, across it. It's not that there is much remaining of the peloton, just 29 riders. And we're getting into the climb. Very well positioned. I don't even need to use my skill. We don't get blocked. Going dot 85 seems to be appropriate. Ah, uh, he's getting away. Garcia's getting away, but he's not good enough in the flat to really make that count. Whoa, very, very sharp edge there. Oh, yes, now we're down to 11 riders. The tempo isn't that high anymore. Getting a little worried. Uh, this will end up in a mass sprint. That would be ter terrible. Oh, that, there they go. That is an acceleration we need to follow. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, everyone is following, so let's follow them. There. Do they get a gap? Yes, it does look like it. So, it was good that we just hung in there. Didn't get away, but uh, that's one of those tempo changes that is just killing everyone over the time they are trying to... Oh, there's another one going. Uh, 19 kilometers out. We just hang in there. I never want to really counter-attack until everyone is empty. Oh, I think he's going to try again. He looks like it. Yep, there he goes. There he goes, and can we follow you? I think so. Yep, we just follow. Perfect. Found marker. We have 20 scouting maneuvers, so that is pretty much what we're going to do here. Uh, for another mark, yeah, I do. oh, we already know everything about you. Uh, you need to know your stuff and your stuff. And Chivaldori doesn't need to be scouted. Um, then we have Peter Sagan. Oh, on our wheel. Oh, we know everything about him as well. He has a zero race day condition. It's not that great. Kronenbergen has a minus three. Demar, how are you doing? A zero. Okay, that's not not that great. So let's go through them and see who's. Um, Oh, minus one there. So you... Ah, don't, we don't get the info. Minus one for our mark. And we have... Benoit has a zero. Good stats, of course. And um, there we go. Boson Hagen. We don't know more about him. A minus one. Uh, Dillard, we don't know. He isn't doing too well. So I guess he's terrible today. Peter Sagan has a zero. Uh, Grönewegen minus three, zero. Kurt Nielsen has, uh, who knows, he seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, Jakobsen we could check out as well. There we go. Um, I'm not too impressed. It's looking pretty strong for Enrico. Oh yeah, please close the gap. Close the gap, we still have the right wheel. Oh, we're getting a little too far to the front now. So he's going. Um, let's see, yeah, yeah, he's trying to get away, but doesn't. And now I want to have a wheel behind him. Let's see, go, Dil <clears throat> still following him. Can we get another one? Peter Sagan, yes. Oh, is he still going? Well, he's pretty empty, so, yeah, the others need to, need to close the gap. There you go, come on, Peter. Are you kidding me? No one wants to follow? Uh, they're not getting away, but, um, oh, there, there, I see, I see them trying to, yep, yeah, there, there's, Ulysses going, come on, Ulysses, 
I need you as a launch pad. Eight kilometers or nine kilometers left. Let's activate our bar. I'm going solo now. I need to um, counter attack and then pass them if possible. Yeah. All right. We are following nicely here. He's closing the gap. Uh, partially closing the gap. There's another one coming. So let's follow you. Can we follow him? Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, there, that's closing the gap. Oh, and there we have our bar active. So, let's see. He is almost empty. Oh. Can we just go 99? And can we get away? Come on. Yes. Yes, you are super strong. You're super strong. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. You must be empty. Come on. Yeah, he is empty. He is empty. So, go, go hard. Go hard. Come on. Uh, I think we can just aerodynamic position this and go 99. You must be dying on those last meters. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> Drop off. Are we riding that slow? You, you must all be dead. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, you are empty. Kung, you must be empty. Oh, he still has something left. Ooh. All right. But you... How can you recuperate? Okay, now. Come on, thick legs. Drop off. Drop off. No shit. Boston Hagen still has something in him. Okay, now that that was that was not working out. Uh, so, do we have to slow down? Court Nielsen looks like he's going to take it. Oh, wow, Demar. Okay, we no, we have no chance here. Absolutely no chance. They are all still very strong. This was a failed attack. So let's slow down and try to get a decent position. Oh, like this. We're part of the gang. And Avamark is going. Let's try to follow him. And he is already empty. <laughs> of course he is. He had thick legs. So let's... Oh, there they're coming. Oh, damn it. No. Ah, <sighs> shit. Shit, shit, shit. Go, follow them. Follow them. And sprint. I know that doesn't work out, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck. That was terrible. Well, that was a failed attempt at this one. Um, should have uh, should have handled this very differently. I thought they would be able to get away um, with, the, with some attacks, but they just didn't. It was not hard enough a race. I, they didn't ride the last 50-60 kilometers hard enough for um, there to be potential attacks going away. So, yeah, well, that didn't work out. No, <laughs> finishing the top 15. This gave us 15 points. This is like winning another race. It's bullshit. Ah, uh, it is that part of the season again. Contract time. Um, also, we have uh, some rest days in this week, so we are getting back up from 51% freshness to 100% before the Warchem Classic, and then we have the Flandern Classic, of course, one of the monuments. The first one Was it the first monument we won? I think so. Oh, we could, of course, try to get signed by Quickstep. I think that would be uh, pretty much the team for us. That's the, the best possible team we can get to. So, yeah, let's up the interest for Quickstep. That would be nice. Uh, some really big competition in there, though. Whew, okay, we are back up to a 100% uh, freshness and plus to race day condition uh, bias. And this is the uh, classic for us, the, the monument for us, really. No, it's not a monument, it's just a classic. Uh, yeah, the perfect one. So, let's get into it. Oh, there's basically no competition in this one. I wonder why, why they're not here. Where are all the big names? We are the clear favorite in this one. And what do we get today? Oh, roll the minus one. Should still be good enough. And like for so many other races, the start is pretty much a nothing burger. Uh, until like 100 kilometers into it, or maybe in this case 80-ish. Uh, and then the fun begins. The tempo is super high right now. They're still trying to catch those 9 SKPs. Well, that is, in general, in my favor uh, because of our high, high flat rating. Although, our competition does have very high flat rating, too. Well, maybe that's 
not too great then. And we are in the first proper, proper sector. Let's just activate our sneaking skill and go 70. And yep, yeah, <laughs> straight through. <laughs> straight through, nice. Uh, that should be fine. I mean, killing everyone at uh, dot 70. Oh, we just decimated the peloton to 16 riders. Yeah, ouch. And there we have a very, very short, super difficult uh, sector. Just 400 meters long, Mollenberg. Uh, I better get into position. Yeah, there we go, there it is. And round the corner, go into the sector first. Ooh, steep too. Yeah, that's looking nice. All right, we decimated the peloton again. To, down to all my helpers and none, no one else. And now comes a big one. 2.1 kilometers long and a four-star sector. Yeah, it's looking really nice. Nippe is uh, doing an amazing job so far. Almost Apparently, supported me the whole uh, track through there. Um, and now there's one more sector there and then we get into the really hilly stuff. Oh, now they are starting to attack. Interesting, uh, right before a three-star sector. They are setting a really good pace across these, so I have no worries that the um, Peloton won't be tired enough towards the end. And, I mean, there's so much good stuff to come. We've almost caught the five SKPs. And, uh, yeah, now now come the harder climbs. And, of course, the Ude uh, I already spotted there from a distance. The big uh, climb with lots of cobbles on it. So I think I'll just go 85 dot. Let's get out of here, though. Come on, let me out. Let me out. There we go. Perfect. And that should also catch the SKPs, no problem. Can the others even follow? That's my my question. So far they can. There are the SKPs. Chase down. And this gives us a nice little bit of slipstream. Not that it matters at 15 kilometers an hour. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. So, uh, yeah, that should tire them out nicely. And decimate the peloton further. And then we just drop back again as if nothing had happened. Oh, next up is a pretty big one, the Koppenberg, four-star sector, very, very steep and very cobbly. And let's activate our sneaking, I don't want to be left behind here. Uh, it's very short, of course, but uh, you never know. Let's just have him stay in there and we try to pull them proper. Let's pull them proper hard. Let's go 95 and see who can follow. That will... Oh, they, they can't properly follow. Uh, let's back down to 85 here, now that the sector is over. Oh, they really have to hammer it now. Alright, our helper needs to go into super helper mode and just lead at um, 87? Yeah, yeah, why not? There you go, he will sure uh, make them a little more tired. And another one, the last bigger one uh, before the final climb. That will be the big one. And yeah, uh, are they? Are they actually attacking? Okay, we just hang in here and go 95. Um, Van Gestel can basically rail them in, I believe. We can stay here, stay put. Van Gestel is doing the work. Reduce the gap. Let's see how good they are currently. Yeah, they're pretty compromised as already. Um, Peterson. Oh, he's still reasonably strong. All right, all right. Yeah, Van Gestel needs to uh, do some work. That's that's sure. That's for sure. Uh, but there's plenty of... Oh, they're all attacking, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. We're getting back there. Van Gestel is almost knocked out, though. Yeah, there's not much... Not much we get from him anymore. Oh, he is... He's trying. King is, for, is trying to get away. And we are, of course, getting closer. Oh, yes. Uh, they are destroying themselves, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much. And still 12 kilometers to go. And one of the most difficult climbs. I think that... Yeah. Clues back. Okay, let's check that one out. Where... 
Holy shit, where? Where's the cruise bag? Oh no, it's just a two star. Well, we need to somehow um, get that gap closed. And they are getting away, aren't they? Hmm. But they're working really hard. And yeah, they're working really hard for it. I do have more juice in me, but I need to get away. Really need to get away. So, this doesn't help. He has M... I need to fall back more. Come on. Like, go go 20. And now... Yes. Okay. Now, this... We accelerate. And... Attack. Come on. There we go. We're off. Uh, do I want to do anything specific? I don't think so. Let's ride at 85. And just try to catch up to the others, and then go hard up the um, the climb to catch up to these guys, and then we should be able to uh, to attack them afterwards. And let's see if that is feasible. And now you have all the power in the world all of a sudden, and here we go. Let's activate our bar now and go 95. This is not a hard climb, but uh, well, it's steep, so we should be able to get to them. Yeah, well, not quite. They are really strong. Let's attack. Come on, Enrico. Enrico, you can do it. Can you get past them? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. We need to catch up to Peterson. He's almost empty. Yeah, yeah, we have this one in the bag. Look at him. He's almost empty. Let's go for aerodynamic positioning. And we should be able to catch up to him. And then just... Oh, uh, he's proper empty? He's not proper empty yet. He will be, though. Is he? Yeah, there, no, he's losing it. He's losing it. There, he lose it, loses contact. He just can't follow anymore. 2.2 kilometers to go. And we are downhill to the finish. Whew, that was a little tricky there towards the end. Not quite as dominant as I, as I would have thought. That was good. That was a bit of a close call, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the result. It's good stuff. Made it a bit more interesting than it should have been. 15 points for that as well. It's just just the same amount of worth as coming 13th in the previous classic, right? Right, guys. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Expected race day condition plus three. Very nice. And of course, one of the best. Oh, oh, wait a sec. We're not the favorites. That's good stuff. I like to be not be the favorite. Um, these guys, of course, look very, very, very strong. This is the hardest cobbler race there is, uh, IMO. And, well, okay, Paris-Roubaix is probably harder for us because more cobble sectors and less hills. But, um, yeah, I think we should get right into this one. Know what you're doing. Ah, beautiful weather. Let's see if the race day condition is as beautiful. Are you fucking kidding me? Roll the minus two. Ah. Shit. Well, that will make the day quite hard. Um, very hard. Yeah, today we're just going to try to hang in there. And then try to pick up the pieces. What kind of bullshit is this, Enrico? Alright, the um, first iteration of the Udekwaramont is coming up. And that is basically starting the race after... A fair few kilometers and this is the first sector which is a little tricky um, but nothing compared to that stuff that is coming thereafter beautiful race just a fantastic race um, I'm going to set it to 70 hold position at the front and then just go from there I think what yeah I think this warrants to take the sneaking ability really so let's um, just go dot seventy and move through here. Uh, yeah, that that works out really well. And now we can well dot seventy is pretty fast. Uh, let's go sixty. I don't want to really make the tempo here. Yeah, the others are just moving about. This is about what what they want to go in pace as well. It's fine. It's not really straining us. It's just <laughs> bucket is is struggling a little, but doing well. Ooh, and here we go. This is the first 
a like, proper difficult one, apart from the Oude Kwaamot. Four star sector, 1.1 kilometer long, Kapelmur. Yeah, we need to go in here basically first, just to make sure that we don't lose too many positions. This is all looking good, dot 70. So that was the second third of the race, and now we get into the juicy bits. And the Oude Kwaamot is coming up in its second iteration. Uh, I don't need to be that far forward just yet. Uh, although, looking at it, should be in a better position than this. Because the road is, of course, tightening around these corners. And we go around here. And, th yeah, that's perfect. Right, they are moving pretty hard. I like to see that. So now it's up it to 80 or even 85. Yes. Yes, now don't get stuck on these guys. We should be fine. Oh, who's going there? Oh, Ooh, that's... That's potentially a little dangerous. And some of the favorites up front. The I've been sneaking forward. Yeah, but they are waiting. So there we go. That's perfect. We're still in the front group. And we have our helper. 52 kilometers remaining. And there's the Patherback coming up next. Also very, very scary. Super steep. And moving in there is the first. It's ju just a free star, but man, it's steep. This climb features some yep, yep, 16%. Now comes the Koppenberg. Also a very, very small, but steep one. Four star sector. Uh, probably, should I activate my sneaking? I think I will have it back for the Ude Yeah, uh, But it's so short that probably it doesn't really matter here. Let's see. How hard are they going? Very hard is the answer. Alright. Yeah, that's... that. Ooh, fuck me. That's a good pace they are setting. Come on. 99. Go 99. Whoa. Okay, that was a gap. Yeah, still 25 riders remaining at 39 kilometers left to go. And... Oh, uh, there's another... There's another three-star sector coming up here. You just go hold position 85. Oh, not hold position, effort cursor 85. Staying with them, hopefully. Yes, yes we are. Whew, okay, Kruisberg coming up next. In quite a while, so let's let's chill for a moment. Also, I need to grab some water. We are in a very good position going into this one. So, let's get into an even better position by <laughs> just jumping over the fence. Oh, yes, okay, it's just a two star, so no worries. They won't be getting away on this one. Oh, but Peter Sagan is attacking. That is the attack we need to follow. Yeah, very nice reaction there, Enrico. Well done. And now we are... Oh, let someone else close the gap, please. Yes, Peter Sagan, you go, you go by yourself. You go by yourself. You can't go 28 kilometers by yourself. Oh, well, it's Peter Sagan. He, he can. But the others... Let's check them out. They're still full, so... Yeah, the combined power of them. I think this is this is the perfect opportunity to really tie him out up front. If he thinks he can go all that by himself, good luck to him. And I'm not the favorite, so I'm not supposed to chase. Oh my god, he has a plus three race day condition bias. <laughs> oh, the race day condition. Um, that will make it quite hard. But now he's got only 10 seconds remaining, so that was exactly the right choice. Uh, he has not been tired out enough. And all the others here who have been chasing... Whoa, he looks really strong today. And how about Van Aert? Oh, also is very strong. Yeah, I don't see us um, winning this one this time. This is just... The competition is way too strong today. So, Peter Sagan is back. Let's... Oh, let's just react to what they are doing. Um, we do need to be on top as one of the first. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, go 95. Go 95, yes. Yep, yeah. it's alright. It's alright. Peter Sagan, Van Aert. They're not getting away. That's alright. We uh, retain some of the red bar. They are also tiring out at a reasonable pace. Let's go slightly harder. We don't want there to be a rip. Uh, yeah, still looking good. Still looking good. Oh, oh shit, not There's looking good anymore. Now, this is this is bad. 
but I couldn't have gone any faster than this. And he's almost dead. He's all... Oh, shit. Well, I think they are off. And we are also empty. Look at them. They have so much left. Okay. Well, that's not great. Putterbag. Um, can we... Can we catch up to them? Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're back. But for how long is the question? Uh-oh. They're going. They're going. Come on. Go. Go 99. Enrico, go 99. You can hang in there. You can hang in there. Oh, for now, back. Come on. No, he's... He's dead. <laughs> no. Come on, Enrico. Come on. Can you... You can't get back to them, can you? No. No, you can't. You can't. Damn it. They still have resistance. Yeah, uh, this looks like it will be a fourth or fifth place. Because everyone behind also probably is really empty. So, Van Abermark has thick legs. Uh, we will be able to get him. And is there anyone behind? We are guaranteed fourth. Well, that's not bad. But yeah, it's not great either. But with such a terrible roll, I mean, with another plus two here, we would be in the first group easily. And Van Avermark is just doing whatever he can, but yeah, not, not, not happening for him. So let's attack him. And off we go. And go 90 and aerodynamic positioning. Uh, 90 is probably too much. 85. We will run out of resistance at some time there too. Let's um, not overdo it. Se go 70. Really efficient. Five kilometers left. Let's lose our bar. And here we go. Thick legs. Thick legs are coming. 42 seconds. Are they empty now as well? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Not empty enough. Yeah, they use their energy very, very nicely. Uh, pretty much spot on. Have enough red bar left to be sprinting. And we are just riding here with thick legs. So Peter Sagan takes it. And Wolf Hart and Oliver Nason is the podium. Enrico, fourth. Not too bad, considering our race day condition roll. There was the sprint for Peter Sagan. Yep, and Enrico coming in with thick legs. <laughs> Beautiful. One minute, two seconds. In the end, well, not much we could do about it. Finishing in the top 10, very good. 24 points. So now we have uh, taken on the Wevelchem, Wachem, and the Flandern um, tour. And next up, in the next episode, will be Paris Roubaix. For another of the monuments we need to grab. So it didn't matter that we didn't get the uh, Flandern. Um, because we already had it with our lucky roll of plus five race day condition. Uh, if you remember that from the last season, that was pretty fantastic. But um, yes, the, the Paris Robert will certainly be an experience. I do hope for a much better roll this time for that race, so that we maybe have a chance against Peter. Uh, but uh, who can guarantee that? No one. Only Aaron Jesus would be able to. I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys next time.